So this is the duck house down the side of the house and they've got a, like a run area. So if we come in here to the duck house, so um, it's up off the air, first thing you notice, and the reason for that is I've got a bit of a unique setup. Um, I've got a bit of a unique setup, which is uh, what I call duck ponics. So <clears throat> what you can see here is a pond and a raised cage. So the ducks will come up up here and if they poop, the poo falls down on the compost and what you can see there is the chickens then come in and scratch it all up. So it gets poo, it gets water from the pond and then the chickens scratch it all up. So it turns into a pretty good soil that I put back around the plants and things like that. So this pond up here, you can see the pond and uh, the water is trickling down. I'll show you where that's coming from. So what happens is the ducks get in the pond and they poo, they love to poo in the water as you know. And then the water runs down through this pipe down into a swirl filter. So this is a swirl filter here. And what this does is it's got a T down the bottom of it in the water and it slowly spins around. And as a result of that, and I don't know if you can see it spinning, it's just slowly spinning, you sort of just see it. As a result of that, the poo and the heavy stuff falls to the bottom of this, of this pond. Which then means that I can get fertiliser from the water. So I'll turn this on, you can sort of see the, all the heavy stuff coming out, which is really good fertiliser for your plants. Now, it also goes through a biofilter, which is full of these little um, clay balls, but you can use bio balls, things like that. And in there is all bacteria that breaks down the, the nitra nitrates from the poo into nitrites, which are good for plants. Once it's been through those two filters, it comes into our sump pump, and then the sump pump pumps this up through a pipe, which comes up up the top to the top of our hydroponics or duckponics system. What you can see up here, we've got some kale growing, got some cabbage, some uh, chard, some cos lettuce, and some tomatoes. So I'm growing some tomatoes in there at the moment. So I'll find the lettuces and the tomatoes grow really well. So that water comes all the way down through this pipe, goes through all the plant roots, and the plants take what they need to grow. So you can see they're growing because they get water and they get all the nit nitrates, nitrites from the poop. And then that water comes back after going through all those filters and through all the plants is clean water. And you can see here, it's a pretty clear pond up the top here. So that water just keeps turning over, so it's well oxygenated, well filtered, and that only needs maintenance once a month to empty out uh, the heavy poo and put that on the veggie garden, etc. So in here I've got a little, uh, you can see here there's a hose and a float, a float um, valve. So if the water gets too low, it'll turn back on. I found that the ducks were taking advantage of that and splashing water everywhere. So we've got it on a timer. So that hose is actually on a timer. So it runs once a day for 15 minutes and fills that little pond up. That's all the ducks need. They don't need a lot of water. Um, they just need to be able to stick their head under the water. So that's the duck system.